It's umsum time. What if our hair disappeared? No problem. I have no hair. I am wearing a wig. <laughs> oh, umsum. Firstly, if our hair disappeared, huh? hairstylists will have to look for a new profession. Hmm. Secondly, if our hair disappeared, huh? demand for hair combs will fall while that for hair wigs will skyrocket. Hmm. Thirdly, if our huh? hair disappeared, stocks of shampoo companies will plummet as there will be no demand for shampoos. Hmm. Fourthly, our hair oh. protects us from harmful sun rays. If our hair huh? disappeared, many people may start applying sunscreen lotion on their scalps or start wearing caps. Hmm. Fifthly, if our hair disappeared, huh? we may initially find it a little difficult to easily recognize our family and friends. Hmm. Sixthly, if our huh? hair disappeared, men sporting beard as well as a mustache will be in for a greater <laughs> loss. Lastly, bald people will be the huh? happiest of the lot. <laughs> hmm. What if we stop washing our hair? I never wash my hair. They are naturally beautiful. <laughs> oh, um, some. Firstly, as we won't be washing away the oil produced naturally by our oil glands, dry hair will be a thing of the past. Mm. Secondly, as our hair traps moisture, it leads to the collection of bacteria. No washing might result in foul-smelling hair. Also, a lot of exercising might lead to an early onset of foul-smelling hair. Thirdly, washing of hair leads to wearing out and fading of hair color. So, no washing of hair will be good news for those who have just had their hair colored. Mm. Lastly, your scalp skin might not be happy as no washing means huge accumulation of <coughs> dust and dirt. Mm. On the flip side, some experts believe that no washing might actually improve the quality of your hair and make them look incredible. Mm. Topic, human hair. <laughs> Why do we get white hair? Because we cannot get blue hair. No. Our hair is basically made up of keratin, a colorless protein. <laughs> Hence, before our hair comes out of the skin, it is almost white. How's that possible? I had black hair during childhood. Don't worry, I'll explain. Our hair grows from hair follicles. Huh? A hair follicle contains melanocytes, which produce melanin. <laughs> Melanin is injected in the keratin cells during the growth of our hair. This melanin gives color to our hair. Mm. Now, the color of our hair is dependent on the type of melanin injected. Eumelanin makes our hair black or brown, while pheomelanin makes our hair red or blonde. However, mm. as we grow old, the melanocytes decrease the production of melanin. Thus, less melanin is injected in hair, causing them to eventually turn white. Hmm. Topic, nerves. Why don't we feel pain when we cut our hair? Well, duh. Because if it would, then we would have got angry on our hairdressers. Oh, you are just impossible. Wait, I will explain it to you. Hmm. Inside our body, there's a network of nerves. These nerves help us to sense our surroundings and feel pain, touch, etc. by sending messages to the brain. <laughs> So do the nerves of my hair not know how to send a message? No. Huh? Generally, the part of our hair above the skin is made up of dead cells. It does not have any nerves. <laughs> Hence, when we cut our hair, due to the absence of nerves, our brain does not receive any messages of pain. As a result, we don't feel any pain. <laughs> what if shampoos disappeared? My hair are so soft and silky. I don't need shampoo. Oh, um, some. Firstly, if shampoos disappeared, huh? there might be a sudden increase in dandruff for a lot of people. Mm. Secondly, people may try out different innovative methods to protect their hair. Mm. Thirdly, if shampoos disappeared, shares of a number of cosmetic companies will definitely go down. Mm. Fourthly, if shampoos disappeared, People may shower for less amount of time. A mm. lot of water will be conserved. Mm. Lastly, if shampoos disappear, the only people that won't oh. get affected much will be huh? bald people. Mm. On the flip side, 
Firstly, some companies <laughs> still test shampoos on animals. If shampoos disappear, huh? those animals will be relieved. <laughs> Secondly, many shampoos in the market contain harmful <laughs> chemicals. If shampoos disappeared, huh? our hair may be relieved. <sighs> Lastly, some people overuse shampoos. If shampoos disappeared, huh? their hair might actually be happy. <sighs> Which is better, hot shower or cold shower? No shower is the umsum mantra. <sighs> so gross. <laughs> Let's have a look at the advantages of cold showers first. As we are warm-blooded, the sudden Ooh. sensation of cold water awakens our body, thus making us feel fresh and alert. Secondly, many scientists believe that when our body suddenly Ooh. comes in contact with cold water, it sends a jolt of electrical impulses to our brain, helping boost our mood in the process. Lastly, cold showers may contribute to weight loss as our body might burn more fat to generate heat. Hot showers have the following advantages. Firstly, scientists believe that hot showers lead to the release of a hormone called oxytocin, easing anxiety and stress. Secondly, as hot showers can help clear the nasal passage, they might be beneficial for a person suffering from cold. Thirdly, hot water can help release tension and stiffness in our muscles. Lastly, hot water can kill bacteria, thus preventing infections. What if we stop showering for a year? How do you know the secret of my beautiful looks? Oh, um, so. Firstly, due to accumulation of bacteria and dead skin cells, we will start giving off extreme body odor. Eventually, our outer skin layer will become so thick that we will develop a skin condition called hyperkeratosis. Mm-hmm. Dandruff will have a party every day, giving us an extremely itchy head. Dirt, pollutants, and bacteria would stick to the oil secreted by our skin. This will definitely make us look weird. Lastly, sebum will get accumulated on our skin and clog our skin pores, leading to inflammation of hair follicles and eventually huh? resulting in acne. <laughs> on the flip side, some experts believe that we don't need to shower every day. Once in two to three days is enough. They believe that too much showering can remove helpful organisms which actually protect us from harmful germs. <laughs> what if toys disappeared? I don't need a toy. I am grown up. Oh, I'm some. Firstly, if toys disappeared, many parents may face a hard time in keeping their kids entertained. Secondly, if toys disappeared, millions of people working in the manufacturing, distribution, as well as sales of toys will be out of jobs. Thirdly, some kids love their toy cars. Some love their favorite superhero toys. If toys disappeared, huh? it may prove to be a little difficult to console them. Fourthly, parents will start thinking out of the box and find out unique creative ways of keeping their kids entertained. <laughs> Lastly, some educational toys are used to help kids <laughs> learn better. If toys disappeared, huh? the void left behind will be hard to fill. On the flip side, if oh. toys disappeared, it may give kids a chance of getting more involved in outdoor activities as well as sports. <laughs> what if bulbs and tube lights disappeared? Huh? No problem. I will reveal my inner glow and light everything up. <laughs> oh, um, some. Firstly, if bulbs and tube lights disappeared, entire world will go almost dark <gasps> after sunset. Secondly, if bulbs and tube lights disappeared, driving after sunset, as in without street lights, would become extremely dangerous. Thirdly, if bulbs and tube lights disappeared, people will really look forward to full moon day as nights will be much brighter on that day. Fourthly, if bulbs and tube lights disappeared, people might go back to using candles at night. Lastly, if bulbs and tube lights disappeared, people might say goodbye to late night work as well as partying. Huh? Mm. On the flip side, firstly, if bulbs and tube lights disappeared, electricity bills will come down for everyone. Mm. Lastly, 
people will start constructing homes which make better use of natural sunlight.